And one, and we're here, Beauty and the Beat Radio. What's up, what's up? We here on July 25th. What's going on? I got a full house in here. Hi, oh, yeah. everybody. What's up, gorgeous? Myself. I got Keon up in here to discuss some hot topics with me. How you doing today? I am doing great. Very How special guest. How are you today? I'm so wonderful. Looking all fabulous over there. <laughs> got me really thankful on this happy hump day. Oh. That's right. Oh. And then of we all got days. the talented Mr. Sai. <laughs> How you Jordan. doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm I appreciate you guys to... having me here. Thank you for coming. No problem. Antonio no problem. and Ira from Javali Clothing. Y'all going to represent with us real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. We ready to rock with y'all for you sure. Ready to Thanks rock, for having rock, us rock. in the building. Yay. What are we sipping on? We have some mimosas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers. You know, yeah, yeah. Everybody say cheers. We didn't toast our, we, yeah. we got to say cheers Definitely. to a good show. Definitely. Cheers. 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 Salute. Cheers. Salute. 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 So what's going on this week with some hot topics? I know we had a lot going on when we came in. What's going on? I mean, you? you know, this is the most interesting man in L.A. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, mm -hmm. I got to give a shout out to the most interesting man in Toronto right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Up. He's ready to go back to back. Mm -hmm. And if he's not doing that, he's giving money to schools in Philly. What's oh. up, Drake? Okay. I got to give you mad props. You're going right. to... Dropped that first, you know, LP last week called Charge It Up. Mm -hmm. And a couple of days later, come back with Back to Back? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. He said, shout out to my boss, women, wife, and niggas. I mean, <laughs> get that <laughs> prenup. Did you get that prenup? I love that. I was like, Get ah. that prenup. I had to repost that. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Yeah, he he that did that one, right? He I was did like, that. Drake, okay. <laughs> Shout out to my boss, which is my I mean, get the prenup. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, he came with him. I mean, I mean, Meek Mill is reminding me of your boy Papa Dot and, uh, and, and, and what's the eight mile? mile? <laughs> At the end? <laughs> oh, yeah. My well, man handed him the mic, he's stuck. He got stuck. That's Meek uh. right now. But Meek over there, t you know, counting his little bit of money. Time I'll be back in the studio next week. I'm on my way to Montreal, and I'm like, me. I mean, granted, yes, you got bread, probably more than me. I give you props for that, but you ain't got more than drink, so it really don't he matter. He said, "Is that your tour? Or is it your girls' tour?" I mean, he just oof. came at him on every on every line that he could, and I mean, just like little hurtful things. Because right. you know they used to dog Safari out, but he didn't comment. It was always no comment. It was Meek never Mill no comment. got the stage. I think we all know why he never comments. <laughs> yeah, we know why. <laughs> After that reply, I, right. I think I completely understand why he don't say nothing. Who exactly? Safari? <laughs> Safari. Oh, yeah. Right. Because yeah. you heard his stuff. I was like, yeah, no disrespect to Safari. No, Safari music sounds good, though. Right? That's, that's, not, that's not called a comeback record at all. You don't. No. Nah. I think the most disrespectful part out of what? it all, what? after he said all that, right. he said, when I look back on this, mm -hmm. couple I'm days gonna, from now, I'm gonna be mad that I even. I'm gonna be mad that I even did this. this. Right, right. But he, he uh, couldn't take. He couldn't take it. He couldn't be quiet. No, nah. crazy. But on that topic, though, and you being an R&B artist, mm -hmm. I know that it's really like a lot of people like to get in the studio and collaborate. If they have a vision for a song, or they'll lay something rough down, or whatever, and then they'll hand it to you. And it's nothing wrong with. I feel like some of the best songs were handed to someone else to sing. So how do you yeah. feel about, for for hip-hop, how do we feel about other people writing other people's lyrics? Is that like a no-no? I don't even I don't even think he even wrote the song all the way. Like, I don't think nobody just writes all of Drake's music. Like, there's no way Drake has mm -hmm. input on his music all the way across the table. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Quentin Miller's talented enough to give him some ideas and maybe some, some, Punch some catchy punchlines or something like that, mm -hmm. but I don't think that dude just wrote his whole record. Right. I mean, so do you think it's something wrong with that? Back to that. Well, let's look at it this way. Let's mm -hmm. look at... Dr. Dre. Right. You know Drake didn't write all these, you know, rhymes. He said, Come I don't on. write rhymes, I write checks. Exactly. <laughs> so, that right there, but Drake that. is a <laughs> billionaire. So, right. you know, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I think it's more of a, at the first, it was more of an insult because it was more like, oh, snap, we ain't heard this in a minute. Mm -hmm. One, two, it's a hip-hop beef. We ain't had that in a minute. Mm -hmm. So, all this is kind of brand new to 2015, but at the end of the day, it's just re reinventing the wheel. Right. Well, I mean, I, I tell y'all straight up that there's definitely an unsung rule in hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just in hip hop, period. Yeah. There's an unsung rule that when it comes to your bars, meaning your verses, mm -hmm. okay. no one is supposed to touch those. That's you. No. You can be influenced by different things, okay. but no one's supposed to touch those bars. And I mean, like, I think if anybody ever seen like the the Black album 
or the the making of the Black Tour and all of that with Jay Z. Okay. And you see him in the studio with Yeah. You see him in the studio with, with Pharrell. Okay. You see them coming up with the meat and potatoes of the record, like and they they're telling Jay what direction we want to go, right? Right. But Hov himself still steps in that booth, and he actually, you know, he still lays those bars down. And so. maybe the guy that I don't really know if I heard everything. The guy is it Quentin that we're talking about? Yeah. But did he just lay it for a melody, or did he really lay it for all? It the... Probably was a reference track. To like to me, I saw. I mean, Flex and everybody played the version that he had, and it it wasn't the exact same thing word for word. So right. I, no, clearly it was a reference. You know what I mean? So I think does Meek Mill really have a point? Uh, to a de- to a degree, but no. Nah. I mean, and it's just it depends on what type of hip hop enthusiast you are. If you really feel like the way about the bars, like that, and lyrical content, and yada yada yada. But listen, at the end of the day, this is all for fans, and I think if they kept that in perspective, then you know, if it the is, fans bro. love it, then the fans love it. Obviously, the fans have taken their side, and you know, we see what it is. But well, Ron, you're a hip hop enthusiast as well as an artist yourself. What do you feel? Do you have a a, a, a comment because you, you, you're usually no comment but do you have a comment on this matter <laughs> well i got a comment okay <laughs> finally but uh no nah, but um it's just this beef is just really stupid because mm-hmm. uh, i really don't re- don't know why meek mill ever responded that i already knew that drake doesn't write all his music mm-hmm. everybody knew that yeah. everybody knew that mm-hmm. but meek mill had to bring it up but i guess but I guess uh, Meek Mill felt that the song Rico, mm-hmm. right. Drake was featured oh, on, that's was what he kind of he right. kind of felt like the the track that he did that it was um, that it wasn't written. Right. Mm. And I guess he didn't like how fans he didn't like how the um, I don't know how, how Meek Mill said it, but he didn't like how his fans he didn't promote it. Pretty much. And that's really Drake, the core of the real problem. That's I the mean. core of it. But I think that this hip hop beef needs to kind of settle down because we are we just came off of what last month where they were talking about. Someone shot up Lil Wayne's. They got arrested yeah, for it. Yeah, Not, yeah. It wasn't. It was like from previous. They got indicted. Yeah, so I think, that's like I think getting people, a little too. We don't want to recreate the Biggie. No, nah, I agree. No, I think I think the uh, the concept of hip hop beef versus a hip hop battle. Mm-hmm. That's what the, those lines are getting bled too bled together. Like. Uh, a beef is a real, real beef. That's, mm-hmm. you know, when your mom's ain't safe up in the streets, beef. We know Biggie, <laughs> Biggie's beef. We understand beef, right? Uh-huh. We talking about a battle? Like in the battle, I mean, hip-hop is a contest. Maybe they're sport. doing this for publicity to get, you know, to get Rico. Possibly. I mean, how much more publicity me- Meek Mills need right now? I mean, I mean he's he just already, dropped your yeah, LP. You, like, got the, you got the tightest female lyricist in the game. And he got, well, like, the number one hip-hop and, record album and, in, the, in the country. Right. right so so what more do you need? You, I mean, are you, I mean, what you need? The beat your meat section right now? <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm sorry. Well, I just got, I'm sorry. Yeah. Beat the meek. Beat the meek, maybe. I mean, meek. 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 <laughs> I mean, you know, instead of Black Lives Matter, Meek Mills Matter right now. You know? I, don't, right. I don't get it. You know, what's right. the problem? Right. Meek Life Matter. You know. Right. <laughs> what's up, Meek? I mean, what? You, you. I mean, Philly didn't treat you right. I mean, you mad at Kevin Hart right now? What's up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have another comment. Right. You know, I have another comment. I just read an uh, article saying that it was a work. Mm-hmm. I guess because. Um, I think Meek Mill is only doing this for publicity stunt, and I guess he wants to make Drake big and whatever. I guess Drake wants to be part of um, Jay-Z's um, title thing. But I don't know if that's true, but I just read something. I don't think there. Drake needs the title thing. He just had yeah, a deal with Apple. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he got he got. Title can't going afford on. to pay him the type of money for Apple. Apple just or, right. or just right. give him a – because even if they give him some stock options and that, that's going to be – Yeah. I need that. Now, don't get me wrong, if Drake was more of a guy who, on the business end, wanted a bigger back-end cut, title's a better deal to go with. But if you're going to run with something, he got 20 mil. Jimmy Jimmy gave me 20, what? Jimmy got 20 20 mil mil on the boy? Are you serious? (laughs) 20 mil? 20 mil on who? On on, 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 uh, on Drake. Oh, wow. Jimmy Iovine is a guy, basically, yeah. once he left no, Interscope, mm-hmm. you know. Right, but I didn't know that that's how much Drake got. Yeah, 20 mil. Is this, at least that's what he's claiming. <laughs> so. What other news we got going on? Well. <laughs> that, <laughs> that right there. Everything funny for I mean, when I woke up, that was like the main hot back topic. To back, back, back to back, back, back to back. back, to back. And granted, I want to make sure all hip-hop heads understand this. Mm-hmm. We haven't had a good hip-hop battle in a long time nah, too now true. granted that's true i'm from the old school ll cool j Salute. jack the ripper ripper strikes back on cannabis i mean <laughs> you know that's you know 
I can go maybe eat the Nas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, gotta you know, you, you got to. to. I'll get Jay Takeover too on that one. Yeah, you have to. Uh, Ether. But, you know, but, <laughs> you know, this ain't really no beef to me. I don't think so this either. I'm really just no like, beef. I just keep hearing and I'm like, what y'all talking right. about? Right. Tupac hit him up, you know, right. Biggie who shot you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm from that era, you know, but this whole, you know, mm -hmm. prenup, you know, <laughs> why, eh, bruh, come on. Bruh. 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 Come on, man. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, that's, I mean, that's kind of what I woke up to, but I got to give major, major, Shout out to the city of Cincinnati right now on some serious topic in terms of, uh, you know, they got a, a situation where another police shot another unarmed black man. Yeah. Sam Du Bois, I believe his name was, mm -hmm. and uh, the cop has been indicted. I saw the video today, and, I mean, basically the guy was innocent. You know, he, he made reference, look up my name and number for my driver's license record, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, he didn't have his ID with him. The cop tried to basically open the door, and the dude closed the door back, and he shot him. Ran and killed him? He killed him. That's so, like, senseless to me. I think that there has to, like, in other situations, you have, what, non-lethal bullets? If you want to stop somebody, you have taser Rebel guns. Bullets, yeah. You have... BB. Everything. Stick. You have a stick. I mean, we don't want to pull that. That seems so 1950s. And, but, I mean, <laughs> honestly, there are so many other, you would think that we wouldn't hear about something like this every single week. Right, yeah. and on top of that, thank God he had a uh, body camera on him, in terms yeah. of the officer. He had yeah. a body camera on, so you saw the that whole they video. they let us see. They had to let us see, so you, <laughs> I guess we're somewhat thankful, I mean, especially the family of that, uh, of that victim, somewhat mm -hmm. thankful that that video was there because they made that. reference, he was dragged, supposedly, wow. and that's the reason why he shot him. It was no dragging, bruh. Unless you a drag queen, that wasn't the case. Uh, wow. I'm sorry, wow. did I say that out loud? What's no. up, uh, Caitlin? Caitlin? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> got him. Did anyone got him? Oh, got him. We, oh, we, we found a way to slide Caitlin up in there. But I was just saying, all this hype and promo, we talked about yeah. Caitlin for the ESPYs. We talked about her dress. We talked about this, that, and the other. And I forgot to watch it. Did, I did too I didn't, much. I didn't, I didn't even I didn't, I didn't even know it was a show. I didn't even know it was a show. I just chose not to. I thought it was we crazy. all just forgot. Yeah. Did, did we just? They pumped us up to just say forget it. Crazy. I mean, did she what, get the award? Or he get the award? Or the ESPYS? He got the <laughs> um, Arthur Ashe for Courage <laughs> Award. Pineapples. And then, um, Ira, what did you? What was your fashion expertise? What did you think of her dress? Oh, I believe the dress was really um, was really befitting for um, someone of that caliber. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually generally nice about it. I felt like it was pretty elegant for the yeah, attire. For you know, the, she, she for specifically event. didn't for do event, for yeah. the event, for the red car. I saw that they put those wires for, for to add its silhouette to right. give her some body and some curves because she still looked like Bruce in a dress. I don't, but um, <clears throat> I, I just... I, I don't believe she should have wore white, but... Oh. What I'm not the stylist. Can we I'm say a, shim instead of she? Shim? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just being... I'm sorry that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're giving us IMK so we can get used to the transition. It's the transition it's, for all of us. We I have mean, to get used to it. I mean, literally less than a year ago, hey, we were why, looking at Bruce. Why do I so, get prepared for this transition? We all are. It's not just you. I mean, the world. It was on the Weedy Box, right? Right. <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. an Olympic award, right? Mm hmm. Pineapples. I want hey, to say the year she can pay me any day to style her. I mean, hey. I mean, me up, I, I mean, I mean, I'll okay. be right there with you because that's bread. Some coin. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm that's not bread. bisexual about that. Okay, we'll have we'll have that. We're gonna pump her up and say, um, <laughs> we need to style you. We have some <laughs> outfits that would totally get that figure worked out. How about a voice coach? Put her coach? Some Javali, a voice coach. Because, you know, Caitlyn voice sounds deeper than mine. Oh, she mom. could definitely write you know sure. Can we get a voice coach? How about some better shoes? Something. Well, we talking about what? She's 11 or 12 in men, men's. so that's like so 14. That's, like <clears throat> is that, that's not a, you know, do I, she's, she's, that's is it, selection. Is Bruce it's slim. Girl? Is Bruce what? I mean, Caitlyn a big girl. She likes well, she's and... like, what, 6'1"? Right. At least, or 6'2". I don't know Olympian. her. Formal Olympian. So World she's muscular. Holder. Yeah. So, I mean, the body is a little, you yeah. know. <clears throat> masculine. Masculine. Mm -hmm. So it's stuff that we got to get used to. 
Well, let's say I'm so interested in your music. I heard it. I just love it so much. What oh, inspires you, you musically when we're? I know that was a big transition, but Caitlin, I mean, we're over. <laughs> right. I want to see you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what, what, what inspires me musically. Well, mm-hmm. um, I'm from the church, so you know, church and background and mm-hmm. all the, you know, the old school singers, Marvin Gaye, the Isley Brothers, you mm-hmm. know, Donnie McClurkin, okay, Kirk Franklin, Ken okay. Clark, shit, all those people, basically. Okay. A lot of gospel basically influence. influenced, yeah, influenced my music. Mm-hmm. And so basically, I have a soulful voice from that, from that standpoint. Plus, my mom's a singer. She was great a great sing- singer. Yeah, she's great a singer, singer as well. Yeah. So you grew up singing in the household. I started singing when I was five. Mm-hmm. That's why me and my little brother came to my mom and uh, we were singing this Isley uh, brother song. <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Oh, wow, we got to get y'all in the church. We got to, we got, I'm gonna push y'all." So mm-hmm. she was just like, "Whatever, whatever gift you guys show me at any time, I'm gonna push it." Okay. But uh, that, that was kind of so. Hard. You have what? Four brothers. I have or three older brothers and mm-hmm. one older sister. And so are you guys year. all mis- musically inclined? Well, my oldest brother he travels the world uh, doing uh, Zumba. His name is uh, Andrew Dance Fever. He he was part of the crunk uh, crunk movement. Okay. Yeah, and my sister does uh, modeling and stuff like that. And okay. so we're all talented. And my cousins played in um, pro ball. Mm-hmm. They played for the Kansas City Chiefs and mm. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I played football. I was nationally ranked in track. So that's. We all got something going on for us. All got some skills. Skills and something. Skills. 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 That's what we say. Skills. Skills. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So, Ira, did you influence his style? Because he told me he styled himself today, and I was like, I love your outfit. (laughs) I am actually... I, I actually didn't get a chance to look at it, but um, I, I, I think I, I, I really, I really believe that, you know, um, since... The past, because I've been dealing with Sai for the past, what, like couple of months, years. almost mm-hmm. a year mm-hmm. now, and he has grown a lot, and I really, definitely. I, I, definitely. I really, just not even just style-wise, but mm-hmm. just personality, right. views, and everything like that, I've seen him grow a lot already from since that. I've known him, so yeah. Know. What he has on is actually cool. It's dope. It I'm trying to ask him where he get those shoes from. <laughs> you got them out of town? <laughs> hey, the shoes, the socks, the hat. We like Everything. well put together. And that hat is fresh, bro. Thank yeah. you. I know. Don't you like it? <laughs> I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. <laughs> I was, I was my guy, man. He's a cool guy. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. So what um, inspired you to move from? Because you're from... I don't want to say the Bay Area. Nah, Fresno? like Central California. Okay. Of I'm originally, I'm originally from Bakersfield. I'm originally okay. from Bakersfield. I lived there for 15 six, six, years. Okay. But then I moved to uh, Fresno at the age of 15. But okay. Actually, I was born. Fresno? Yeah, Fresno. What's in Fresno? F- five, five, nine. <laughs> cows. Right. Fresno <laughs> State and more cows. Oh, uh, stop it. Uh, they got, they got Fresno State <laughs> okay. University. They got the, uh, you know, it's a great. It's, it's a small. It's a small city of around five hundred thousand people. Mm-hmm. Around being like fifty thousand uh, African American people. Did you ever perform in Fresno? Um, I did. It was right before I left. Though. Like, did nobody know me? I was I, I was lowballing. I wasn't nobody. Then nobody <laughs> cared for me. Okay. Until like I came out with a single, and then uh, the people I was doing music with mm-hmm. basically really pushed me and helped me in in that aspect because. When I moved from Fresno, my mom, I, I was old, I was like 16, so that was like, I guess, the rebellion stage, so my mom wasn't oh. on church like that, on us like that, mm-hmm. basically, it was only me and my mom, mm-hmm. me and my mom and my little brother, okay. so I, I was, I just reached out for some people, like, yo, I want to do music, I didn't know how to record, I didn't know how to do nothing, they was like, yo, you sing good, like, it was like, really church, so like, you got you got something that we can utilize, so mm-hmm. they, they, they took me in and, and helped me. I noticed that you often like have like a song in your head, no matter if something else is going on. It's almost <laughs> like you're humming. Do you like to like come up with her? Do you write a lot of your own music? Do you write like? Are you? <clears throat> can you make music? I'm very, or do you just, no, like, I definitely can make music. Mm-hmm. Um, creatively is something that I would like to get better. i um, stronger in. Like mm-hmm. vocally is something that I, I've always. I've always just like took in strong consideration. Like that's what I wanted to be. Okay. I wanted to be try to be one of the best vocalists. But songwriting, I'm um, just start doing it. But being creative, doing melodies because can't nobody try, can't nobody tell me how to sing something. I'm not gonna allow you to tell me how to sing something because right. unless you like Brian Michael Cox or something. I was about to say, hey, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Certain people, certain people can, but it's like some people are like, yo, you should do this, and mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, okay. But you know, I have my own way to sing certain things. Have you ever thought about like it's a lot of competition shows out there right now? I mean, we got America's Got Talent on, American, American Idol. Idol. Oh, the voice it's so many I can't even keep up all the time so have you ever thought about did you ever consider that as a role? do you ever watch any of those shows yeah um, I grew up on I remember when American Idol first came out I was mad young I was like seven right <laughs> <laughs> when that came out but uh-huh. uh 
Wow. Yeah, um, my family always wanted me to go to Sunday best. Like yeah. everything has always been. Oh, been gospel. Push gospel, okay, yeah, okay. push gospel, okay. and, and I love gospel music, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not just it's not something that uh, I wanted to go with professionally. I mm -hmm. feel like if I'm gonna do gospel, that's something I'm gonna really take to heart, and I'm gonna do it for you know basically move the people and for God and mm -hmm. you know for what I believe in. But right, um, right, as of now, you know I'm just trying to push R and B. I feel like R and B is missing. Missing, missing, your missing substance. Mm -hmm. It's like it's not you no know, girth in R and B nowadays. It's like chicken nuggets, like the way the way the way R and B <laughs> is, and I feel that way. The big homie Tyrese said it. Chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah, congratulations like, to Tyrese, Tyrese again. Has the he best just Black Rose right doing. now. Black Rose is doing great and right now. And it's independent. He did that on his own. His he didn't get a lot of support from his label initially, and he said, "Forget that. I'm I, just gonna I do it." I put it up myself, and that's what I'm on. I'm on that type of hype. I'm Attention, my. white radios. Play Tyrese's yes. album. Black Rose. Man. Black Rose. Album is nice. That is called Good Music. R &D. It's a legend. I heard That's you called. doing um, Sweet Lady. Can you give us a little bit? Uh -oh, Could you sure. sing live for us? Ting you on the back of the bus with Cherry, Co <laughs> Cherry Coke. Sweet lady, would you be mine? Sweet love for a lifetime. I'll be there if you need me. Just call it. Receive me. Shout out to Tyrese. Hey, yeah. Hey, that boy good. That's your chocolate. That's your chocolate. That boy good. That's my boy. Yeah. All right. I like when people could just yeah. sing up the spot. I have to. I have to. This is my craft. If I, if I play basketball, somebody like, yo, get in this pickup game. I got to play. Right, right, right. You can't be talking all that and not be able to play or be talking all that and not be able to sing. So it's something I really take pride in. Do you still play sports as well? I just stop. It's, it's hard to watch sports. It's hard. My nephews play sports. Like it's some like sports was my first love. Mm -hmm. Sports sports usually came before music because music was something that always came easily. Mm -hmm. So it was always track. I was ranked nationally in track, like mm -hmm. number two in the nation, like in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Went to the uh, Junior Olympics in uh, Baltimore, Virginia, mm -hmm. um, AAU, um, US USATF. Um, something I always do, but um, I wanted to play football. I'm a slim guy, so you know, coaches really didn't want to mess with me on that tip. But I was, I was, I was, I was, I was mad fast though, running right. a four three. Right, right. So it's like, why, why not put me up? Like, why not give me an opportunity? So I played football my senior year. I had a great year. Mm -hmm. I had like what, like sixty receptions for like nine hundred yards and like ten touchdowns. I had a few D two, D two schools uh, looking at me, but I, I wanted to get a scholarship, so I went the JUCO route and tried to play football at uh, Fresno City. Okay. Coach wasn't really messing with me because I was slim and it was bigger people, a bigger, bigger people around me. Mm -hmm. So, kind of just discouraged me. So I was like, man, I'm gonna just focus on music and, and go after that because I know I, I, it's something I've never been denied. At, you know, I feel like I, that's that's my calling. Right. People in ministry have spoken that into my life. My mother has, mm -hmm. and it's just something that I know that. Something. What separates you from other artists out there? A lot of people want to get into music, but I hear your passion for it. I hear it in your your songs, like that I heard. I, you have a single available on iTunes. iTunes, yes, Storm. Storm. Go get that on Storm, that, yeah. Spotify, Amazon, Rhapsody, everything. What separates you from other artists? Uh, that question is funny because, like, <laughs> I go on Instagram and you know Snapchat and Facebook, and you see all these great singers uh -huh. and all this stuff. I think what separates me is the people that surround me. Okay. My my team and this man right here that uh, has guided me for the past year and a half, two mm -hmm. years, and it showed me how to be independent. Mm -hmm. I'm really on some. I don't, I'm not looking to be signed, but if if I were to get signed, I would want to go into it as a partnership and not on no 360 Trinidad what? James type thing. Because <laughs> he's trying to <laughs> right now. Too. Definitely because because I want to have a little bit more control, and I think nowadays the way artists get on is you can have a you can have control. I can show the world my singing clip, and you know a lot of people get famous off of the social medias and stuff. The, now. Yeah. So I have full so the independent. Yeah, right. I have full I have full authority over my career, and that's what I want to keep. I want to keep authority. It's creative. not a, yeah creative creative authority, mm -hmm. financial authority. I don't want nobody going in my pockets taking percentage of everything, <laughs> especially something that I created. Right. So that's why mm -hmm. he's helping me. I would like to be the first R&B mogul. Okay. You know the Jay Z, what Jay Z is to to hip hop. Okay. There's not too many people that can be compared to him. It's him and Puff and Fifty, but Fifty is like underneath Puff and Jay. Well, yeah. yeah. He, got a, he got a lot of businesses going on. He got, he a, got lot a lot of businesses, things. but Jay is worth over like five hundred million. Because he sticks into the music. Mm -hmm. Not even just the music. It's the clothing. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the it's the social media. It's title. Mm -hmm. It's clothing lines. It's, it's apps. It's all type of things it's like putting your hand in all, all different pots and creating 
fi finances from everything. It's not right. just doing music because right now, music people don't make much majority of their money off of music. They make it off of the shows, merchandise, clothing, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, I want to add all that to my game, and and I feel like I'm smart enough and I'm young enough to be able to go after that. Everybody, everybody, the people that's becoming famous off of Vine, they're not making they're making the money off of Vine, but they're merchandising right. because right. they're. They're branding themselves, and people. Beauty in the beat, right? Beauty in the beat, exactly. Yeah. Javali so clothing. So, how, how did this Javali clothing and side jumps? How did you guys come together? How did you guys become a team and the partnership evolve? <clears throat> Originally, it started off with uh, myself and Sai, mm -hmm. and uh, it was more so focused on on Sai Jones than mm -hmm. it was anything else. Javali mm -hmm. um, was like a, a kind of a speck of an idea in the back of our back of our minds, but. Uh, the the idea just evolved and it grew, mm -hmm. and and as Sai talks about like uh, us us creating branding mm -hmm. um, opportunities, branding opportunities, mm -hmm. and just uh, and creating a movement behind it. So I mean, uh, you know, I think we thought clothing is kind of so cliche, just like oh, let's do a clothing line, right? Mm -hmm. you know, you're entertainers do a clothing line, but um, at the same time, we we wanted it to be something that <clears throat> has some type of stability, something long standing, something that could be branded alongside of, you know, other brands like, uh, you know, Abercrombie and Finch or, mm -hmm. you know, or even YSL, a Gap potentially, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. YSL potentially, you know what I mean? So um, we, we, we carved out the brand to not necessarily be like Cy Jones clothing, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we, we wanted to take the brand to, you know, to a, a to So a what's next level. for Javali? Because it's, it's kind of a lot of fashion stuff going on this week, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, definitely, yeah. What's um, going on? So what's next magic? for Javali? Gavali, um, well, what's what's next is fall winter collection, mm -hmm. uh, the release of, release of that, mm -hmm. uh, fashion shows, um, a, a ton of events, mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, a lot of celebrity, you know, a lot of our friends, associates in the business, mm -hmm. you know, supporting us in the movement. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a couple fly surprises also lined so up. You can't tell us about. Nah, yeah, exactly. I, you <laughs> know, we can't put everything on the table. We'd be revealing too much of our plans, but. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I'm definitely, you know, you can look forward to a, a full-blown fall winter collection. Uh, I almost want to say, um, to the level that uh, we might have saw Puff do Sean John at one point where he really took like a, a strong hold of the fashion world mm -hmm. as an entertainer, I think you're going to see a lot of that. And then, of course, with Psy uh, being really the, the face of the brand in mm -hmm. a lot of ways, um, you know, you're going to see a, a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of that fashion kind of just exude through not only his music, but uh, even other people that we influence. Okay, so, so it's gonna be crazy. All right, well, let's get you up in here. Coming from being the fashion stylist, <laughs> how, how have you influenced the brand, Gavali? Um, just through the creative capacity, mm -hmm. uh, just being very open and mm -hmm. creative to what uh, the I, I I I call him the brains behind <laughs> the, okay. the real basic math, mm -hmm. really. Um, so just really, um, it really stems from them, mm -hmm. um, and then from that it just goes into a whole gambit of how I even started and mm -hmm. what inspired me from the beginning. Well, I don't even want to say it just stemmed from us because <laughs> yep. Ira is part of the reason that a lot of this is, uh, Ira is our creative director. He's also one of our founders, mm -hmm. so Ira plays a, a, a real pivotal role in, um, the, the creative process. Us and to know what's hot and what's not, mm -hmm. trends, colors, themes, mm -hmm. so on and so forth to fabrics, you know, everything. Yes. Textures. Um, these, colors, so he he's threads. our expert in that field. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? We again we don't want to be singers or, you know, entertainment guys and we're just doing some T shirts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not it's not what we're doing. We're doing real clothing and you're gonna actually be able to rock the clothing. We don't necessarily want you rocking our record label on your shirt. Right. We want you to, to really be supportive of the actual brand that we wear. We like you know, the clothing. same way every woman has to have a pair of guest jeans or something, that you gotta have a pair of Gavali jeans too. Why not? Oh. So you're making jeans? What's the collection gonna include? The collection is gonna include um, basically your average ready to wear okay. uh, outfits. Okay. It's gonna be, you know, collab pieces um, mm -hmm. as far as men and women okay um, you're gonna be very um, it's, it's gonna take you on a journey okay. quite to say if I could say it like that it's gonna journey. take you on uh, yes. <laughs> more of a how can I say it a maybe a I, I, I would say outside of the lights camera action more mm -hmm. inside of 
nature, mm -hmm. if we can say it like that. Mm -hmm. More inside of the nature of who we really are as people and who we really are as um, individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we are individuals. So you it's won't be looking like, you know, like the next person's line. Mm -hmm. And what we will have is the, the touch of differentness mm -hmm. that the other clothing lines yeah, trendy. don't trendy. have. Yeah. It will be definitely yeah. trendy. Okay. Trendy. It will definitely be trendy. On trend. On on tr trend. On not trend. too trendy. Right. Right. Okay. Right. No, well, hopefully not too above the curve. Hopefully above yeah, the curve. It, it yeah, will it okay. will be. It will be. It will be. So can, who have you worked with styling-wise? Styling-wise, who, who have I worked with? I have my actual... Actually, my first gig was mm -hmm. actually with Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. Um, yeah, I knew, my first. You knew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Walk through when okay. he did the. Um, ah, okay. When he did that single, walk through. Okay. That was my actual first kind of mm -hmm. big shot. Mm -hmm. And then after that, everybody else fell, you know, right in line. It was like, oh, I heard about you, or, you know. And I've worked with people like Black China. Black China is actually mm -hmm. still a really good friend of mine. Okay. Um, she uh -huh. comes from the same it. area, okay. actually, the DMV. Him. So shout out to Black China. Shout out to that. I um, knew I heard a little accent. I know you say you. <laughs> so you're originally from where? I'm originally from the DMV, <laughs> uh -huh. but um, as we people from the DMV like to say, Merlin. Merlin. But you guys say Mer Maryland. 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 We say Merlin. Y'all say Maryland. Maryland. Okay. Yes. So I'm from Merlin. Okay. Speaking of you working with particular artists and celebs, who's been like some of the most difficult ones you've worked with? You know, you got the good ones, but what about the difficult ones? Right. I like to know that type right. of routine. Dun, dun, dun. Right. <laughs> 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 on the spot. Oh, yeah. I mean, you um, know, if you want to just give initials, I can, feel, I can figure it out. All right. <laughs> I, will, I, I have really, to be honest, I have had the pleasure to not have a difficult client Come yet. on, bro. Mm. I have honestly, <laughs> I out of all of the celebrities I've worked with, mm -hmm. I have not, the only, uh, well, I, no, 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 no. I, that's I, what I'm, I, I'm only teasing him because I'm about to actually style him, but I'm just going to shout him out, Giovanni, because only because oh. we have such a tight relationship. Okay. But he's not difficult as far as getting, you know, things for him. He's just... Ooh. He's my bro, and so mm -hmm. we just always pull the each community. other the extra mile. Right. So, um, but big ups to Giovanni and his new single as well. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he's used to Friday. doing parodies and stuff. Wait, so you talking about Giovanni? Pretty Watch boy Giovanni? <laughs> hey, what's up, Giovanni? It's your boy K. West. You always call me Grandpa. You old... <laughs> <laughs> What's wow. up, man? That's my yeah. man's in there. Yes. Right, Pots right, and pans, right. you know what I yes. mean? Right, um, right. But I haven't had, I, no, I haven't had a difficult client. I've had the pleasure to, everyone that I've worked with, from Trina to uh, King Batch to Leanne B and to, you know, mm -hmm. so many yeah. other up, you know, rising and great mm -hmm. people. I have not, it, it's been a coast. It who, really has. Who's someone you really just dying and kind of praying to work with? Who's... That Who I really want to work right. with? Yeah. I Outside of myself, really, I mean, I honest. really, <laughs> and I only say that because I, she comes from the DMV too, mm -hmm. and that is Taraji P. Oh, Taraji P. Cookie Hinson. Cakes. I, I want your mm -hmm. contact, mm -hmm. right? Yes, he wants your contact, and I want your cookies. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> that. that was I did. Single, <laughs> out here, single <laughs> woman. I'm a single man. We can make this work. Mm -hmm. We Shoot. just had someone from Empire, Ivan Ellis. With yes, us. Oh, that's okay. actually Ivan Ellis. I just actually got affiliated with him, and okay. I'll be future styling him. As well. Oh, okay. When we yeah. okay. See yeah. That? See that? Yeah. See how that works? So I'm getting so you, closer. And, and you're getting closer? That's great. And speaking of the empire, just to bring it back to hot topics, you mm -hmm. hear about the engagement? Of uh, Poo Poo Kitty, uh, what's her name? Yeah, uh, Go Poo Poo Kitty, Poo Poo Kitty, and, 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 and no. uh, the deal with the uh, Lucia's son, the oldest Lucia's son, the oldest son. No, they they're really like they're in, real really, real in real life. Yeah. They got You're engaged over the weekend. Really? Hey, yeah. Hold on, who? The wow. light skin, wow. Wow. luscious, luscious white, light skin. Grace, Grace. What's her Jazz name? Jazz the greatest. Wow. Uh, no, no, the no, no, light oh, sheer. <laughs> Yeah. What? No, wow. not Rashir, but the other one. The oh, oldest yeah. son who the has the. Uh, oh. Oh, the oldest son. The oldest that's, son who has the uh, well. mental disease. Yeah, the bipolar. The bipolar. bipolar and yeah. uh, Boo Boo Kitty. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. They well, that's engaged cute. It's in real life. Thank you. Yeah, they cute. Cool. That's I'll style both of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's know, that's that, you know, I'll style the wedding. Hey, right. there it is. They talking about them light skinned people coming back. No, y'all finally caught up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell y'all something. You know what I'm saying? We've been in. Y'all just finally caught up to us. Oh, my gosh. So that'll Check. be a wedding that Check. we'll have to see come, come about. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. 
Mm. We got any more mimosa over here? Nah, I, man, I, I was just asking. We still sipping. Just asking. Okay. We might have to make a pick stop real quick. You know? Oh, that's all good. We all right. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get something else going. We can't, okay. you know. <laughs> I want to get into. Can you introduce your um song first? Because I want I want everyone to hear your single. Oh, definitely. Storm definitely. Right, and go check it out. It's available on iTunes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's available on iTunes, Amazon, Rap City, mm -hmm. Spotify. I think we got it on Pandora too. So I got a station on Pandora too, iHeartRadio. Okay. So this is my first time doing this. My first single out on uh on iTunes. So you know, go grab that. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, storm. By uh, produced by Wild Jones. Who's hey. Wild Jones? Wild Jones is my guy. He's from the DMV. Yeah. Oh, real, see. yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Be more. The DMV, be more, man. Be my more. big partner. Real, okay. real, real solid let's, guy. Let's get into that storm. Why'd you call this? Cast now, shawty A little wind A chance of heat Your temperature is calling me So I like to when you call, girl When I spring or fall, girl Summer girl is on yours Prepare for some thunder I can already see Hey, let it storm to me on my umbrella I'm ready for a hurricane I'm trying to keep that body warm hey, let it storm caution signs watch your step I'm sliding in a thing now shut it your body dripping shaking weight I wrap them legs around my shoulders. I love the way they go, girl. When I spring a fall, girl. Summer girl, it's all yours. Prepare for the thunder. I can already see. Hey, let it start. I feel it. Thank you. 
back, Beauty and the Bee Radio. Hey, that was a storm. Hey. Storm. Everybody was driving this so, so what is storm about? Shit, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, I'm, I'm going to let it storm on you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start saying for the rest of the summer. Storm. <laughs> It's actually, I want her to let it storm on me. Mm. Exactly. So, yeah. Drip. Basically. <laughs> drip, drop, drip, drip, drop. Don't mind the wetness, boy. But he drops. Don't something, mind the wetness. Something like that. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real... Sweat. It's a real sexy, real... Uh, how do you, would you say? Tastefully explicit. It's, yes. yes. That's what it we, is. We nailed it. Oh, we nailed it. There yeah. it is. I'm going to nail her with that song. <laughs> Watch. Okay. Yeah. Down the playlist right now. Definitely. But the, uh, the song speaks for itself. You don't really got to say too much. No, you don't. You don't. It does speak for itself. I love it. I love the sound of it. So with with rap music, sometimes I feel like we're coming, like we're we're coming around. Nineties come. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that with R and B? Nineties R and B is crazy because I've been talking about nineties R and B since I'm like seventeen. Okay. And uh, I was just like, man, the real R and B is like which. I was introduced because my mama only let me listen to gospel music, but okay. people that I would listen to was like Casey and JoJo, yes. Johnny Gill, okay. you know, Bill Bev DeVoe, and you know, the groups, and the Boys the Men, and mm -hmm. you know, all the great 90s, like, that was real R&B, like, yeah. that was real love, don't nobody, like, me my age think side chicks and all that stuff is acceptable, like, right. I mean, I, I, I'm I, glad that you I, <laughs> like, I think it was always, I think it's always been around, but like, nobody's, like, we, we vocally accept it, and females vocally accept being a side chick, like, no, we don't. I, I mean, I, I'm not saying my generation. I'm just saying I mean, you, you're, you're, in, mm. in your. Ah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a grown woman, so she's not with the childish games. I'm sure. Okay. Right. But there a lot of people my age. Nice recovery. A lot of people. Right. No, 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 no. Definitely. No, a lot of people my age like to play the games, and me, I'm, I'm raised in the church, so I, I have a different view. view what point mm -hmm. vantage? Whatever. Whatever is point called. Of vantage point. point. Mm -hmm. Vantage point on you know how relationship should be handled and, and I feel like everything should be handled with care and as a woman especially girls that's growing up without that's fatherless don't yeah. even know how a man is supposed to treat them I haven't even seen their mom treat a man so they don't even respect and I can't even man niggas my age they ain't even ain't nothing mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm not saying they we all ain't nothing but it's like it's a large majority of guys that don't even that are influenced by the influenced by music I mean media. I mean I mean and media I'm for, I mean granted. Being someone who also work in education and working with a lot of young men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm working with a, maybe a seven year old, eight year old, and they mm -hmm. over here talking about, I'm in love with, with the coke, coke. I don't know what the hell you talking that's about, ridiculous. Hershey. I mean, you talking about Ashley <laughs> Quick? <laughs> what you know about this? You can't be talking about this. Right. What you mean? I can't be talking about this. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, they, they do. They know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Inside out, yeah. You supposed sad. to do it like this. You got flip it like that. Flip it. You know, you flip it and baking soda, baking soda, and arm and hammer. I'm just saying. I said, what you know, my arm and hammer. I said, man, Damn. these kids. Oh, wow. Seven Damn. year old. I don't even know about that. that Seven year old, yo. Know, and then you flip that, and I mean, today's generation is all about the like. Mm -hmm. You like my picture. You like my video. That's your value. That's it. That's, That's the value. value. It weighs more than any. It weighs more than degrees. Wow. It weighs more than any type of certification. You don't need to you get $200,000. No, likes. you don't. <laughs> you get $200,000. And, and, and we, we put yeah, more like more you. You the boss. You the boss. You put much more emphasis on 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 strippers now because you know. It's acceptable. It's, it's acceptable. It's socially acceptable. Socially acceptable. <laughs> then you put more emphasis Mine on is Black China <laughs> and Amber Rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm there. laughs> but that's the that's the society we live in today. You put much more emphasis on the like, mm -hmm. or on the picture of the ass, or mm -hmm. or more on the uh, the red bottoms than we actually do on actual integrity. Mm. You know, but a true relationship. Like I feel. But the sad thing, women accept it. Well, women accept if I feel like it's women have control. Like there's more women on this planet and, and, than men. Yeah, like right. if you guys just stood your ground, was like, no, I'm not accepting this. All niggas got to be, or all men have to be this way, or I'm not accepting. I'm not gonna allow you to treat me this way. Right. I'm and not gonna it, allow you I to, mean, I think yeah. that's just taking a stance that when you're taking a on a, in a relationship, you have right. to set standards. Because sta if you don't, then you'll just. You, it'll, it'll go downhill. That part, <laughs> and then you flip that to the whole women just, you know, ah, shoot, I lost my thought. But this, <laughs> the, the part I'm trying to make is they will put more emphasis on the purse. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Shoes. Materials. Buy me this, then material. you can get material, this. Material. Then someone actually opened the door for them. Mm -hmm. Someone actually yeah. saying hello, calling over the phone, right. then yeah. a, a test message. Yeah. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? We put more emphasis on that. You know, so you or even more so taking care of the kids. 
Definitely, definitely. I have another single. It's called I Don't Want to Wait. And this is about me and my, my best friend. It's like a really like a relationship. Like, I feel like relationships are best built through friendship. Like, I gotta I wanna be your friend. I'm, I'm gonna be your Amen. girl. I'm gonna be your girlfriend, your boyfriend. I, ain't, I don't even like you. You're not my friend. Amen. I just, I just, I just want to have sex with you or something. Like, I don't want to just have, like, well, that's, 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 that's lame. Like, that's, right. what, that's, that's what it is, though. Like, <laughs> right. people get in relationships because either they think somebody look good or they want to take them or they want that title. And I'm not really on title like that. What's the title without having a real connection with a person? Mm. A genuine human interaction people don't know how to talk no more mm -hmm. i'm gonna talk to you I, like it's easier for me to get out a girl in the dm than it is for me to talk to her in, in, in real life like mm. how is that i'll get you over to my crib through instagram and i can get you over my house in person no <laughs> and here's the other part of that if you say something in person no if you they say something in person to you, no 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 you're thirsty you thirsty oh, yeah. and even oh, if it's definitely. a great compliment i like your smile you thirsty negro Oh, man. <laughs> Pineapples, man. Oh, no, raise you. I feel like every, every, some TK. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, I man. Guess, I don't. I don't even like the term thirsty because like just being interested is considered thirsty. But you know, I, yeah. I, I didn't have thirsty moments before. I, like, <laughs> right. It was, it was, like, you know what they call thirsty? I think what the older generation or the generation excessively that trying to go at somebody is. Uh, the chase and mm -hmm. the, the pursuit, the, the pursuit yeah, of a you woman. As a man, that's what we're doing. Man, you saw, yeah. I'm going to go hunt something I want. Being thirsty now, right. right? If I saw Cerise, you know. I'd be like, hmm, what's good? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm court her. I'm gonna be like, hell, yeah. how you doing? What you like to do? However, this is what I like yeah, to do. Approach. How about? And more importantly, we do I'm, this do together. I'm, I'm, I'm a plot. What we gonna yeah. do? I'm not gonna see it. Be like, well. What you want to do? What, no. Exactly. How about on this yeah, Wednesday, man, we take, go to this comedy us, show, yeah. I meet at 8 o'clock, we go from there. Yeah, you, you, pick up, you got to pick up. You, you can Uber. You can Uber. <laughs> hey, Uber it. They got lift. lift. Yeah, you got to have a car now. Side car. But oh, not side shoot. chick. Not to be confused with the side chick. Nah, you, know, you side chick if you get side car. Oh. Yeah, Uber, but, Uber, 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 Uber. Hey, man, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to use that for all my side chicks from now on. Baby, take the, the side car. <laughs> take the side car and come through the side door, door. please. Ooh. And you might get some Take side anyway. Side chick. That's why we need your music. That's why we need your influence. Because, see, you on the side chick thing. See how you are? No, it's just... It is what it I is. I feel like now every then. woman deserves to have a man that truly cares for them and, and makes them priority at a mm -hmm. certain point. That's dope. But it's like girls make trying to... Making a girl priority right now was putting her on my Instagram and giving her a shout out and yeah. making her my woman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not, that's the priority now. That's called yeah, that's, priority. That's you're priority. not, you're not, I got, because they get a, a hundred other niggas to make them their woman crush and their boyfriend will make them their woman crush so they're not important. And I'm like, I don't even care about all that social media. This is for my music. I don't, I don't know. care about none of that. Care about none of that. <laughs> so, this is Beauty and the Beat. Do you have any like, fashion things that you must what do you do before you get ready for a show or a performance what are your <clears> three, <throat> three grooming things I want to hear this no. yeah buddy grooming yeah grooming uh, like, what would you do to get ready to prepare for a show do you do like an Eddie Kendricks from like uh, the Fire Heartbeat <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and come in running in real quick <laughs> I got nothing but love rituals? for you baby uh, I don't know. I be in the bathroom a lot. I be I, like the bathroom is like my little studio booth. So I just I just be up in there just singing, mm -hmm. singing on Pandora. You know Eric Bellinger is like one of my favorite artists right now. So I be having Eric Bellinger, especially Cuffin Season. His album is dope. Okay. From front to beginning is dope. So okay. I just be up in there singing. Probably. Dead. What other current artists right now influence your music yeah, or just good. that you like to listen to? Current, like if you had a playlist going on. I had a playlist, man. Eric. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Nah, you can't even say that. You already know who number one is. Who? Number one is Trey Song. Trey. Oh. You know what? Yeah. He gonna be here this Friday. Yeah. yeah no, we gotta go there. He ain't gonna be. Ain't gonna be in Anaheim where I'm at. Yeah. So I gotta go. Gotta yeah. go meet the big homie Trey. Yeah. But uh, Trey Songs, man. Chris Brown is doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tyrese is doing his thing again. Shout out to Tyrese. Shout Eric out to Bellinger, Tank. Eric Bellinger, man. I feel like he's very underrated. And I don't want him to get the uh, the, the the Tank syndrome because Tank is one. Tank, I think tank. we just gave Tank. Tank is, just, tank tank is, is vocally. Talented. Tank is vocally. What's poly? the Tank syndrome? I, I might have missed tank, something. Tank syndrome is people don't understand what you're doing because you're just too vocally of a beast and they don't understand everything you're doing. All the he's a church like that's church. Mm -hmm. Them runs, everything, the, the harmonies and everything. It's not radio. Mm -hmm. What's radio is Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign can actually really sing too. Right. But it's just like that's chicken nugget music. <laughs> Yeah, like, Chicken like, nuggets. Wow. Six it's, pieces it's, or twenty no, no, pieces. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's, it's like. It's like. <laughs> is Ty Dolla Sign a, a rapper or a singer? He's considering himself a singer. No, he's okay, considered he doesn't a rap. No, he raps, but he's, he's a he rapper. He considers himself a singer. A singer. Wow, I didn't he know that. Considers himself a singer, like Drake. Considered like Drake. But like you got body right now. Now come you on, body now. Body singer. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Drake raps. Drake raps, but like charged up. Ty Dolla Sign is. Have you ever tried rapping in your music? 
Is that something that you would ever consider? I never try, but I'm a Cali guy, so I guess it's the way. I'm, I probably you can't can rap. <laughs> I probably can't spit something. You know, I got a little Tupac in my blood. <laughs> yeah. you got you Tupac in your it? blood or Ice Cube in your blood? No, no, no. I got Tupac <laughs> in my blood. Cause actually, we both was born in prison. So I was uh, was born in prison. So it was like, oh, that's word. something that we have in common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, but that's what my mama listened to. Like, my mama, really, I don't really care for I like rap music, but I don't really care for like Future Hot, though. Like, I love Love. Yo, that trap music. Where, yo. The trap, trap music hard. Huh? Speaking of future, I love God and Jimmy trap Sprite. music. <laughs> nah, speak, speaking of future, y'all see that crap last week that happened? No. Uh, -uh. uh with the whole future free concert stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 we were gonna go. Exactly. That future it was too. It was just too much. I was at he yo. He needed to perform it. Got shut down. I saw on the news. I was watching, watching clothes actually. It was midday, and I was like, "Wait a minute, that's the Roxy." First off, you're gonna try to have some at the Roxy. I was like, she, "That was a cut." Yeah. yeah, I mean, Roxy holes as much as this particular yeah. place we in right now. <laughs> oh, and wow. then you try to do some at House of the Blues. Blues. Should have had it at which LA, and which is a small venue as well. And then, you know, all hell broke loose. Mm -hmm. No, no. Shots out for Future for having but, a free show. I gave him major props for that. Yeah. But you know, it was gonna but make he probably it didn't know club, how many though. people yeah. were gonna come. Uh, he now, had granted, he, he had he hosted a uh, supper club that Thursday. Yeah. And it was night. wall to wall. It was the same night. Same night. Yeah. It was wall same to wall day. pack. I gave him major props for that. But mm. come on, bro, you gotta understand like these venues out here, man. These mm. are small venues. Well, you maybe need... he was just setting it up for the anticipation for people to come out and buy a ticket. True. Well, there was free tickets. It was free tickets. It was free shows. If he would have had a bigger yeah. venue, you know what I mean? He would, like, it would have been like a real But concert. then he, he probably would have had to come out the pocket. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Come shoot, come out the pocket. Somebody got to pay for the venue. Somebody got to pay for the venue. Shoot. Right now, it's about the hustle. I get it. Now, granted, his baby he mama. He a uh, trap nigga. Remember right. that. Now, his, his baby mama's waiting <laughs> to get paid <laughs> because of uh, her boyfriend's uh, upcoming contract. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. What's up, Russell Wilson? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know. He got, what, four four baby mamas? Who? Russell Wilson? Whoa, baby. No, oh, future. future. <laughs> oh, he, damn, he's honest. Whoa, he he honest with the pipe laying. <laughs> <laughs> Tasteful. Tastefully. Uh, no, it's called Storm. Storm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Crazy. So, what can we expect from Cy Jones mm. coming up? Mm. A lot of content. A lot mm. of, man, I'm, I'm late on the content, man. It's like, I see all these artists. Jacquees, man, he's doing his thing, like, really, really, like, as a new up and, up, up and coming artist. Mm -hmm. Jacquees, Avery Wilson. Like, these guys are really pushing the content, so I have to come up with more content. Like, at the end of the day, like, th these are the type of guys that I'm competing against. Yes. And so I have to just come up with more content, but my, I'm back in the lab. It's coming up week. Mm -hmm. So really going to be going hard on, on my music because mm -hmm. I take that very serious. That's, that's, my, that's my baby. Like, okay. music is my girlfriend right now. Okay. <laughs> so right. music, uh, more videos, more fashion stuff, more stuff with the clothing line. Okay. Going to some uh, some fashion shows and some trade shows. Um, you going to Magic this year? Uh, try to make it out there? I think we're a little bit too <coughs> behind with the Magic show, but mm -hmm. definitely more upcoming things for the fashion. Agenda. It's agenda. always agenda. Agenda. We did the Agenda show with a, a, a previous clothing line that we okay. used to be a part of called Ilay Apparel. Okay. Shout out to my guy, uh, Irv. Irv. Yeah, shout okay. out to Yeah, Apparel. Okay. But, uh, yeah, just all about, you know, it's about making money and, and making moves in the right direction. And that's all I'm about is, you know, creating opportunities for my family, mm -hmm. for other people that's hungry. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, man, we're in Los Angeles, man. This is the, this is the, this is the place, like, where you can live your name. dream and right. where, you can, where you can really do it. It's like, don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. That's the don't thing. Don't be scared. scared. And I'm, I'm don't be just, scared. I'm just, I'm just trying to go after mine because I, I, know, I know what I'm caught on this earth for mm -hmm. and I know what that's I'm right. supposed to do and I'm supposed to help other people. I'm a man. I'm supposed to provide for people. Right. So that's what I want to do. I want to provide for people and I want to provide people with great music great fashion and just great energy mm -hmm. from a cool guy from a wavy guy from central california that's amen right. to that speaking hey, on bitch. providing can we provide y'all with some gavali tees yes. right here yes. Yes. let's go throw around a few of the promos for y'all yeah, just a promo around, around here yes 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 one can yes. we toss one across the room trust and believe oh, yeah. Oh, oh man! No, By about the no. middle of August, the end of August, we'll have the whole fall and winter collection. There you go. We'll make sure we get uh, special shoot. invites. Make sure you get this on camera. Get this on camera. Yes. Oh yeah, we have. We've yes. got See? tanks, Bring crop those, tanks. We got NY to LA, so it don't say DMV. To, it say NY to LA, so we got. Oh yeah, we covering the we covering the ground. The whole, oh okay. Yeah, we covering the whole. We so covering I, the country. I so, that you know. West on the back. Yes, make and sure you post though when you wear post Gavali at Gavali at Gavali, and then at Ira. Dot nine. 
Here you go. Yeah, buddy. Here you go, bro. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to wear this later today yeah, to all that digital. Yeah. With all Russell that. Simmons. Do that. Okay. White and black. How can you yeah. not rock it? Hey, you know, hey. That's what I'm going to do. Promo do. <laughs> this is just the beginning, really. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. So how can we find out more about Javali Coley? Huh? Is it a yeah, website? Um, you can go to Gavali.com. G-I-V-A-L-L-I.com. Okay. Um, you can always go to our, any of our social media tags Gavali at Gavali Clothing. clothing. Okay. Um, you, I mean, we're going to always have updates, yeah. something constant. My Instagram, I post things from Javali, his yeah. Instagram, The Give Side Give us how Jones. we can follow you and get You can follow me on Instagram, The Side Jones, T-H-E-S-Y-J-O-N-E-S. That's the same thing for my SoundCloud. It's the same thing for my artist page on Facebook. So, you mm-hmm. know, you can get at Twitter, everything. everything now, Twitter. Ladies, same uh, thing for Instagram. me, too. Ira.net. I mean, Ira. Dot, uh, um, uh, nine. nine. Ira. Okay. Dot nine. R- I-R-A. Dot nine. Now, I'm just like, I happen to check out Mr. Jones' uh, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, you know, I'm very, very lesbian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, ladies, you might want to check it out because he, he likes to wear sweats, and I know y'all like to watch sweats. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I wasn't looking, but I'm just saying. I just glanced. I was like, oh, okay. You have eggplant Friday? He's oh, tasting like <laughs> Let me take another sip. Ladies, Hold up. ladies uh, remember, storm. Eggplant. Storm. That's storm. That's definitely storm. what I do. Making a storm is definitely the move and a wave. But uh, no, eggplant crazy. Friday has been banned off of Instagram, to be honest. But, That's uh, all right. Nah, I don't do that, you know. I try to be tastefully Just explicit. the emoji. I just try to be tastefully explicit. That's tastefully explicit. The emoji. Hey, hey. Yeah, all you got to put is sweats. Hashtag sweats. sweats. But really, when you sweats. think about it, do you re- would you really want a shape of an eggplant? I'm asking you. Egg- oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, oh, taste. That'd be a new topic coming up because she started turning a little red there. Would you want a banana or eggplant? That's all I want to know. Or a cucumber. <laughs> they got little bananas, you know that, right? She want them all. <laughs> they all taste good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. She want no that comment. pipe. <laughs> she want that pipe. That's all I got. <laughs> Period. Shoot. Storm. Peter Pipe her. You know what I'm saying? Storm. 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 It's all about what you do with it. See, it's <laughs> exactly. It ain't, hey. It's not about none of that shit. To right, be right, right. You know? <laughs> no side chicks. In fact, is there any any particular woman you got your eye on right now? Or is there, in fact, let me go a different route. Any particular celeb, you if yeah, you just just like got to get her, your yeah. dream girl. If I had to right now, right now, please say. It. I already know. If you had to, please say it. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. It's funny. If I have the privilege, if I have the privilege, uh-huh. I have the privilege to not she look good. Okay. Hey. hey. I think y'all would make a good song. I think y'all would make a good song together too. That would make a great song. Who would you like to collaborate with? Song-wise. I, I would love to collaborate with, uh, I love to collaborate with Chris Brown. Uh, Breezy, songs. shout out Breezy. Shout out Breezy. Breezy. Tank, and uh, right now, the new artist I would want to work with is, you know, August I've seen. That's, that's, oh, yeah. Nice. We so didn't mention him earlier, but I love his music, too. From yeah. the 504. You know, I, I like New Orleans guys. My, one of my, my best partner, mm-hmm. Brian August. Walker's from New Orleans. Oh, I can make so that, that August happen. Guy. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that happen, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. New, New, Orleans, New, Orleans, New Orleans, man, I, I, I play football with, with, hands with a on few deck. New Orleans uh, guys and Atlanta guys. You know, they all they're humble dudes and, and, and mad cool. They always think they, they, they're on top of everything. But you know they mad cool, mm. so I, I would love to do a, a feature with August. That'd be dope. I think I think we would collaborate well. Okay. Well, it looks like we're running out of time, but oh, we no. found out how to get in touch with you. Definitely. We know how. We know about the Javali Club. We know we gonna stay looking good in our fresh. Javali. We gotta oh, stay fresh to death. Fresh. We gonna let it storm. Mm-hmm. Available. No, no, no. I'm gonna let it storm on <laughs> the next victim of mine. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had this last <laughs> night for my victim. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh my bad, that said that too loud. <laughs> she was a victim? No, she got oh. <laughs> Someone She got wasn't victimized. a victim, but she got got, because I got her. <laughs> got, got, got him. Got him. <laughs> Shoot, well, she on didn't. that note, we in the beat, though. We're going to look out for everything you have going uh, on, and we're going to come. Definitely. I want you to come back when you have a video and all that. I definitely will come back. I appreciate you guys. You guys actually my first interviews, the first time ever. I didn't oh, even get no. Oh, we gotta get props. Nobody, nobody even like warm me up for this. Like, came on here and winged it, bro. I, I, I appreciate you guys really coming and you know accepting everything that we have to offer and looking forward to more content and more fashion and just everything. Well, I, I'm I like you guys. To... You guys are mad cool. 
Okay, well, we like you too. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna go out to you, Miss Lady. I just smile. You gonna get this storm? She's looking fabulous today. Oh yes, she is. Scrumptious. Sorry. You gotta watch yourself. You gotta watch yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a room full of men. I set my girl TP over here. And we. She's even pretty too. She's gorgeous. We ain't gonna talk about this one over here. TP. We not like that. We ain't gonna talk about her right there. Yeah. Every time her and I go out, I'd be like, who's that? Who's that? I'm like, that's my good friend. Why? She can't get with that. You better go ask her. That's a grown woman. It's a grown woman. But this one right here, ooh, boy, you better watch yourself. Thank you. You like storms. Ooh, and she's smelling. Ooh. Sign Let's go out to that song again. I want to hear it again one more time. Let's do it. Hey, shout yeah, out, shout time. out to all the Leos in the building. It's this is, it is Leo, Leo season. Is Leo. I am a Leo. August fourth is about shout to go to all down. My, all the lions out there. Hey, the Leo birthday week is coming up. The most interesting man in LA has a wow. whole lineup for you. Follow your boy at I am K underscore West. That's right. Because I am the best, and I don't West, smoke, West, no stress, and I'm from the West. Okay. <laughs> I'm really crazy. It's Beauty and the Beat Radio. Thank you. Where the girl come to me? What's your forecast now, Shadi? A little wind, a chance of heat, the temperature is calling me, so I let the wind it come, girl, when I spring or fall, girl, summer girl is on yours, prepare for some thunder, I can already see, hey, let it storm. Shout to me, baby. Oh, my umbrella, I'm ready for a hurricane. I'm trying to keep that body warm. Hey, let it storm. Caution signs, watch your step. I'm sliding in a thing that shuddered. Your body dripping, shaking waves. Now wrap them legs around my shoulders I love to when you go, girl When I spring or fall, girl Summer gonna tell you Prepare for the thunder I can already see Hey, let it start I feel it Shout to me, baby. Oh, my umbrella, I'm ready for a hurricane. I'm trying to keep the body warm. Let's go. Fear raining down me.
Whoa.